What's up, it's Marco, Sage of Soccer, and today I'll be talking about the U.S. Men's National Team March roster. Sorry about the camera and the different setup. I'm away right now, and, you know, I didn't expect this roster to come out today. I saw last night it was coming out, and, uh, yeah, it's a very interesting team. I think that the main thing I'm excited about is there's just a lot of experimentation in the squad, and that's definitely a very good thing. There are some players who aren't there who I would really like to be there, but I think there's a lot of good in this team. In goal, we've got Matt Turner, Ethan Horvath, and Zach Steffen. Pretty typical group for this team. Again, I talk about goalkeepers a lot. Good that Matt Turner's there. Horvath and Stefan battling out for the second spot. Probably our three best. I would have liked to have seen like a Roman Celentano or Gaga Salonina in that third spot. But I think we're good in that position. Then at center back, we have a very interesting group of players. Tim Ream, Mark McKenzie, Austin Trusty, and Miles Robinson. So no Cameron Carter Vickers, no Chris Richards. That is uh, interesting. Uh Chris Richards is with my Crystal Palace. I think he's our best defender, and it's it's a shame that he's not called in here. He isn't playing every week, so I do understand that. But he's he's too talented to leave off, in my opinion. He definitely needs to be here. Cameron Carter-Vickers as well. He's been insane in Scotland this year, and I don't know why he's not on this team. We'll get into some snubs later who are like, okay, they're definitely injured. But I haven't seen anything like that with Cam Carter Vickers. Richards and Carter Vickers would be the two that I really want to play together moving forward. And the back, the center back pairing that I think right now is looking like our top group heading into 2026. And for neither of them to be there, that is just extremely disappointing. And it's you really have to ask questions if Chris Richards isn't there. Uh, then the rest of our team, though, you know, we got Tim Ream, very good player. He's been playing extremely well for Fulham, deserves to be in this team. I'm glad that he's there. Uh, Mark McKenzie back in the squad. Uh, I think that's good. If I had to pick five center backs, he would have been there. He was a bit of a, I just left him off on the bubble, but I think it's good that Mark McKenzie's in here. He is playing consistently. He has everything that you want out of a center back, so I'm glad to see he's there. Then you have Miles Robinson coming back from an injury. Great to see him back. You know, we do want to see him move on to a club in Europe, move to a higher level. Honestly, same with Cameron Carter-Vickers, move to a, a higher level. And, you know, with Miles, you do want to see his on-ball ability improve. But I think that he's shown enough talent with the U.S. national team, and he's been doing well since returning to Atlanta from injury. So I'm glad that he's there. And then Austin Trusty from Birmingham. You know, it's a good to see him getting called into the team because um, he's a guy— I, from the, my Philadelphia Union, I've been a high on him for a long time. He's been playing great in the championship. Glad to see he's there. I don't think he deserves to be here over Chris Richards and over Cameron Carter-Vickers. Uh, but, you know, he's a guy who I do want to see with the national team. I wanted to see him back at Camp Cupcake in 2021, I believe. And I was disappointed that he didn't play in that one. But it's good to see he's back in the team. Then on fullback, um, pretty typical, about what I expected. I thought Dewan Jones would be here, but I don't think he's missed. This is a smaller roster than I expected, only 23 players, which is uh, pretty weird. But we have Serginho Dest, Jedi Robinson, Joe Scally, Brian Reynolds. I think that's the right choice for our center or our fullbacks. Again, Dewan Jones over Brian Reynolds, maybe, but if we want to go with potential, Brian Reynolds is definitely that guy. He's been playing well in Belgium this year. I'm glad to see him get rewarded for the call-up. Uh, Dest, Scally, uh, Robinson, they're self-explanatory. I'm hoping that uh, Scally and Jedi are able to start for, for us because I think that we should be trying out Scally. He's been playing a lot more than Serginho Dest, and I think he deserves to be given a look. Then moving into the midfield, Tyler Adams unfortunately picked up an injury, so he's unavailable for this camp, but we still have a pretty strong group. Johnny Cardoso was called in as our only real six option, which I think is a very, it's good to see him in this team. I think that he might be dealing with a bit of an injury as well, but I'm glad that he's here, and I'm glad that we didn't call in Kellen Acosta, and I'm honestly, Walker Zimmerman as well, because we easily could have called in Zimmerman, and I think it's good that we get to experiment with this team, and, you know, I think it's a bit of an opportunity that Adams isn't playing. We could try a 4-2-3-1, uh, see how, like, a Yanis Musa, Luca De La Torre, West McKinney do in that spot for us. And we can experiment with having Johnny Cardoso as a six because I think that he is, he probably has the inside track to be Adam's backup come this summer. And I think it's good to give him a try, even though I wouldn't have had him in the team before Adams got injured. But now that Adams is injured, like it, he does deserve to be here. Uh, next, we're looking at the rest of the midfield. Uh, Brendan Aronson getting called in. You know, obviously he needs to be there. Uh, 
you know, not doing the best goal scoring wise with Leeds, but he's such a crucial player to this team. Uh, Yannis Musa mentioned before, hoping that he can start. Uh, I'm hoping Luke De La Torre starts alongside Yannis Musa because uh, McKinney has been playing the best recently, and I think we can experiment with a different look in the midfield. And this is the this is the window to do it. We're going to win these games probably by a combined total of seven goals, and I think that's being conservative. And I think we should be testing everybody out. Uh, McKinney in the team as well. Uh, the only real uh, questionable one is Alan Senora in this team. I don't think he impressed too much at uh, Camp Cupcake, and I think that there are some other options, maybe like a Georgi Malhalovic that you could experiment with, uh, bring John Luca Busio back into the fold, and you know just maybe have another striker, another defender. But you know we'll give him a chance. But I'm not too confident in Alan Senora. Maybe in a better team, he'll look better because, you know, it's hard. sometimes it's tough to look like a really good player when you're in a group of bad players. Uh, then moving forward to uh, what I'm assuming is the wings, there could be some overlap. I'd actually like to see a couple of these guys in the midfield. We have Taylor Booth, Gio Reyna, Christian Pulisic, and Alejandro Zendejas. Um, Gio Reyna being in there is pretty big news, I guess. You know, it's not really, but I'm glad to see that we weren't stupid and we did call him in because he's extremely talented and... Noticing no Tim Way. Did I forget to write him down, or is Tim Way left out of this team? Um, you're going to have to double-check that later. But, um, you know, Gio starting there could be on that right wing. Just such a good player. Christian Pulisic, obviously such a dynamic attacker. I would actually, I wouldn't play him because he's just returning from an injury, and we have played Pulisic into injuries before, so I would probably hold back on starting Pulisic. So I'd probably put Gio Rain on the left. Uh, I'd have to double-check Tim Weah, and I would put him on the right. If not, we have Taylor Booth we can try out. It's a good chance to try Zendejas in that inverted winger role. We haven't had a left-footed attacker. Jeez. With this, th with this group of player, we've never had a good left-footed attacker. So it's great to have Zendejas in this team. I'd actually like to see him work with Sergino Dest. I think that could be really fun. But uh, Joe Scali is still the guy I want to start. And Taylor Booth, really good to see him in this group. Again, I probably would have him in the midfield, but, man, just bring in another talented player. And lastly, up top, we got Daryl DK and Ricardo Pepe. And no Josh Sargent, no Hayes Ferreira, no Haji Wright, none of the strikers from the World Cup. Balogun wasn't there. I didn't expect him to be there. Uh, DK, just such a game-breaking player. It's going to be fun to watch him play. And Ricardo Pepe, it's good to see him back in the fold. Probably should have been in that World Cup squad, definitely over Hayes Ferreira. And he's got a ton of talent, and I'm excited to watch him moving forward. And yes, Tim Way is in the squad. I miswrote that. So good to see him in that team. He's been playing a bit more of a defensive role for Lille recently. So I'm glad to see him in the squad where he'll be an attacking forward player. If I had to give a starting lineup for this team, I'd probably go Turner in goal. Uh, probably Ream as one center back and McKenzie as the other. Uh, then Jedi and Scally in the team. Then I'd do a 4-2-3-1. I'd probably go Musa and De La Torre in, at the base of the midfield. Uh, Reyna as a 10. I'd probably try Pulisic, or sorry, not Pulisic, Wea on that left wing. And then i have Zendayas cut in on that right-hand side. I'd probably start with Ricardo Pepe up top. But obviously that can change a lot as the games go on. Um, Pulisic, he's obviously dealing from an injury, so I don't want to start him. Weston McKinney, you know, I think that he's a bit out of form. Same with Serginio Dest. So I'd be experimenting with this team. Again, I think it's a pretty good squad. I love the experimentation. I think that it is pretty experimental, especially with a lot of MLS players not being there. Namely, Hayes Ferreira, Walker Zerman, Kellen Acosta, who I think are favorites. I'm glad they're not there, I should say. I'm glad that they aren't in this team. But I wouldn't expect that to really stick. But I'm excited to watch these guys play. I really would have wanted Chris Richards and Cameron Carter-Vickers to be there. But... You know, I do want our team to experiment, get a lot of guys on the field, and that is what we're doing. So hopefully we can have a good tournament or a good couple of games, win this, get to the Nations League final, and yeah.